Hello and welcome to today's Lightroom Classic Quick Tip. We're going to be looking at a hidden drop down menu in the import module within Lightroom Classic and I'm running version 11 today. So without any ado, let's get across to Lightroom Classic. So here we are in Lightroom Classic. I've just got a blank screen in front of me and most of you will know that we just hit the import button which is one way of importing just hit the import button and the import dialog will open now if you see a smaller version this is because it's on the bottom left hand corner is a little triangle and this is the mini version of the import dialog and if you hit the triangle it'll expand and give you the full version of the import dialog but that's not the the tip for today so firstly we're going to go and find our source our images so I'm just going to click on the folder and I love Highland cattle and I'm always looking for images of Highland cattle so there's five images here and I import them quite regularly so I have generic metadata so that's keywords description and title and headline and my other IPTC data I also have my renaming system but I also have a generic place where I put these images. Now the little tip today is right down the bottom here is a little drop down and by default it will say none. But if we click that, we can save a preset of how we import these type of images. And what that does is on the right hand side of the screen, we set it up as a usual import. So let's just go through this, a so file handling. Um, I'm not going to create a smart preview. Uh, I'm going to check there's no duplicates. I may add it to a collection in some of my imports. File renaming. I'm not going to rename these at this point. During import. Now, I have this preset, this metadata preset. And that's for another video. Have a look at my um, playlist for Lightroom Quick Tips. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm looking for Highland Cattle. There we go, Highland Cattle. So in that preset, there is all my contact details, there is my uh, copyright information, but there's also title, headline, description, and keywords, very important. So we make sure that's dropped down. And then the destination, they always go into a date folder, which I specify by the drop down date format. It goes into, in my case, it goes into a year first, then goes into a subfolder year, month and date but it goes under Exmoor Highland Cattle okay so now I'm going to save this as a preset so for all intensive purposes I'm only going to import three of these images so these first three and I'm going to save this as save current settings as a new preset so I'm going to call it Highland Cattle and I'm going to save that and I'm going to import them and there we go, a few seconds, three imported files, and you can see they're there. Now, I've gone to sh take some more photographs, or I have some stock images of um, Highland cattle, and I want to import those. So I hit the import button, I go and find them. There's the two, but rather than selecting from the right-hand side all the information, what I can do is just click down the bottom, click on Highland Cattle, press import, and that's it. It imports them exactly as that preset sees. And here we go, one, two, three, four. There we go, five images, all imported into Lightroom Classic very, very quickly. Now you need to spend a little bit of time in setting this up. For example, keyword lists, and let me just show you. These are all keyworded. Let me just show you. These have all my metadata all in them. I don't have to do any of that. It's all done in the background and those videos are in my playlist. So I hope that helps you today. If you like the video and would like some more very quick Lightroom classic quick tips, why not subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. I'll get back to questions as soon as I can and I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye for now.